So this is a, a soft center. I got it from a woodworking supply house in England. This is Starrett number 811. It's uh, thousandths of an inch graduation. This is fitted to a magnetic base that's on the carriage. And you see I can run it up the slope. Can run it down. Okay, so that's its resting. So I'll get above the resting point. So I'm pretty happy with that. Again, this is the half inch shank dead center. The number two Morse taper dead center. This bar is about five eighths or so. Now the first three inches or two and a half inches is a Morse taper number two. So I'm not able to use that for the test I'm doing now. I've got the ball from the indicator on contact with the horizontal center line on this side of the bar. This is a tailstock the ram, the lock, keep it from moving on the ways. And here are two Allen head screws. Now most tail stocks are driven toward and away from the operator by opposing screws. I've checked and there are none on the other side. I have the manual for the lathe. Specifications say that the tail stock can move a half an inch in and out. No instructions for adjustment. These screws are pointed out as being the uh, tail stock offsetting screws. So I'm assuming that instead of putting a screw on the other side, they've got some sort of a rocking arrangement here. I guess that shows it's moving a thousandth. I'm going to try to loosen a screw here. I've tightened one of the set screws. Can't I can't uh, traverse the full thing because of my Allen's wrench can't, is not accessible. This looks much much better, and both set screws are tight. Let me check that. Yes, both set screws are tight.
So I think I'm going to call that OK. Here's an alignment bar. One end is number two Morse taper. Both ends are centered. The bar was ground, the straight part of the bar and the Morse taper are ground between centers, I think. This came from India. There are lots and lots of these identical bars from India on eBay. I didn't even get the seller's name on this. Here's one final look at it with the uh, dial indicator in the back side of the bar. So right now I've got the alignment bar in the dead center. And at the other end, I stuck it in the tail stock. Remember, there's a number two taper on this bar. So, I read that for my angle is about zero. And that reads about half a thousandth from my angle. Now, there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm going to place the indicator on top of the bar. In other words, this arranges horizontal offset left and right of the center, which is what matters when we're cutting. A little bit of deviation up and down doesn't hurt too much. If you do the math, it's if you're cutting tools on the center line, a few thousandths up and down doesn't matter. Same setup. Uh, center, the other end is a Morse taper, but now I'm on top. There's not much I can do to change the vertical alignment of the tailstock and headstock. And I'll see how, just how bad it is or how good it is. I don't know about the cam camera angle, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing zero. So it looks like plus two thousandths. Seems to be returning to zero. It's as close as I can go without hitting the tailstock. Giving some weight on the tailstock doesn't it moves it, but didn't change it that much. It's almost one and a half there. And it's back to zero. Now that little bit of misalignment won't hurt. Uh, your tool is cutting on the center line. And if the tailstock is offset left or right, you'll actually get a taper. 
Now you're going to get a taper if it's offset up and down, but not as significant. So I'm pretty happy. I've never done this with this lathe before. Uh, I do like the opposing screw set up on one side. You can do all of the movement of the tailstock from one side. So I hope you enjoyed this lathe alignment. <laughs> Verification video, or whatever we might call it. Thank you.